My mum sadly passed away uh, from cancer 19 years ago, but the treatment the NHS gave her and the support the NHS gave her was absolutely fantastic. And we've all relied upon the NHS. We've all been there at our most difficult times with it for us personally or for members of our family, our loved ones. And the NHS has always been there for us. And we need to defend our NHS. I think that the NHS is the thing that Britain can be most proud of in our whole history. The creation of our NHS 75 years ago this year and the Conservatives voted against its creation 22 times. But now what we've got, and this is no exaggeration, is an attempt to manufacture consent for the privatisation of our NHS by running the service down, by underfunding it, by demoralising and underpaying the staff so that again, eventually you have a situation where more and more people feel the need to end up trying to get some sort of insurance based system. And I think what the Conservatives actually want to do is to do to the NHS what they did to council housing in the 80s, which was to take it from mass majority provision to a kind of safety net minority provision. And we can't allow that to happen. The NHS needs to be there for everyone. We can't allow it to be turned into a USA style healthcare insurance system where they feel for your wallet before they feel for your pulse, where people go bankrupt when they can't pay medical bills. I think the campaign uh, to get a Labour government to commit to full uh, public ownership within the National Health Service is an important campaign. I applaud it. And that's the kind of transformative policy we need when we get the Tories out and get a Labour government. It was Labour that created our NHS and it's only Labour that can save our NHS. But in order to save our NHS, we need to listen to the people who work in our NHS and the people who use it day in, day out. And finally, how would you respond to anyone who says NHS strikes are putting lives at risk? Conservative underfunding of our NHS is putting lives at risk. Conservative, the Conservatives pushing towards the final privatisation of our NHS to turn it into a USA style healthcare system where they feel for your wallet before they feel for your pulse, that's putting lives at risk. NHS workers aren't putting lives at risk. They end up working for the NHS because they want to save lives. Let's empower them with safe levels of staffing and proper pay and proper investment to do their job, save lives and help people in the NHS that they can be proud of working for.